What is your name? Margie Riddle. Margie, nice to meet you. Can you give us a little bit of um, the rundown on today's uh, event? the dog show. Sure. This is our um, 10th anniversary dog show sponsored by the volunteers in Northampton Schools. We originally wanted to have an event that would be great for families with kids to come to and just have a nice afternoon and the late winter um, and enjoy themselves. And this has proved to be a huge success. So we keep doing it year after year. There's a lot of fun, especially with the kids and the dogs and everything. It's it's just such a good feeling. Um, I was talking with uh, someone else today about how dogs can really make people feel good and they can help people like through crisis. And if someone's going through a tough time to kind of put their minds at ease and to help them out like psychologically. And it's really, really nice. Right. Nice and, that's quality. A, and that's actually similar to what the volunteers in the schools do, just by coming in and being with children, helping them with their schoolwork, just getting to know them a little bit. It supports them and helps them be happy and um, learn better. So dogs and kids, they really go together well. Yes. And uh, this is an annual event? This happens once a year? Right. We call it March 4th with your dog. It always happens on the first Saturday in March, which is sort of a dull time of year lots of times for people. And particularly this year with all the snow and ice and cold, people really are ready to get out and have some fun and laugh and be with others. So it's a perfect time of year for this. And we do it every year. This is the 10th year. Any advice for any newcomers who wish to get their pets into the show? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, all they have to do is go on the Volunteers in Northampton Schools website, which is called VINS, V-I-N-S, and um, find out the information that they need there. I would say also that the businesses in the area have been so supportive of this, of this project. Um, I think also because they support our schools and they support the volunteers in the schools, because it is a fundraiser. Okay, anything uh, final you would like to add? Anything you'd like to conclude with? No, I just think um, we're delighted that this has become a, a, such a wonderful event to have every single year in Northampton. My name is Betty Jarvis. Hi, nice to meet you, Betty. And who do we have here? This is Montezuma. Hi there, Montezuma. He's a rescue. He, um, we got him from a shelter in Rhode Island. He's Dachshund and Chihuahua, but then a lot of times people think he might have a little Jack Russell in him. Oh, cute. How old is uh, Montezuma? Monty is, we think, according to his teeth, that he's about four years old now. We got him two years ago this month. So this is our happy anniversary. And his special talent is singing, which he does at home all the time when I sing. But today, he uh, wouldn't utter a note, not yet anyway. Yeah, he seems pretty calm today and pretty mellow with, with all the crowd here. All that's you going know. on, I know, yeah. So I'm going to enter him in, there you go. I'm going to enter him in best show, see what happens. Hey, hey, good luck with that. Thank you very much. And uh, how many of these events do you go to, like during a period of a year? Oh, I just attend this one every year. One? Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Is there anything uh, you'd like to add as far as tips, suggestions for anybody who might be thinking of uh, bringing in their pet, their dog, into uh, one of these shows? Um, depending what your uh, desire is, if you, you know, what kind of, uh, if you want to let them compete or just hang around. If you want to let them compete, bring them in a little early so that they acclimate, okay. calm down. Yeah. And also, I want to just say, um, adopt a dog. <laughs> rescue a dog there's uh, we almost brought him back actually after the first week because because he may not seem so now but monty has a few issues uh <laughs> yes but oh my gosh we fell in love with him soon thereafter and uh, i'd never let him go stan pollock nice to meet you stan and uh what brings you down here today's dog show well, I entered one of the dogs in uh, the fetching contest, and also I'm trying to promote my business of come, sit, stay dog obedience training, where I go to people's homes and help them with any problem that they're having with their dogs. How many of these do you go to, and how many dog shows do you go to, like, in a year? Oh, uh, several, but I've been to this dog show probably six or seven times. Um, 
the, uh, this dog uh, won most obedient for two years in a row. Oh. And, and this guy won a pooch who can smooch uh, last year. So, um, so we're just here having fun. It's a great opportunity and it's, it's a good fundraiser for the volunteers in Northampton schools. And uh, is there anything you would like to give for people giving advice when they're entering the dog into a contest? Any tips or any suggestions? Um, yeah, the best advice is don't be too attached to the results. Just um, have a good time and um, practice before you come to the show. And if it works out, great. If it doesn't, try again next year. Hi, what is your name? Shannon Fitzgerald. We run Leading the Way Doggy Daycare and Dog Training. Ah, nice to meet you, Shannon. And who do we have here? This is Gittle. Gittle's a five-year-old Papillon, and she did she does tricks and all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, what is uh, your purpose here for being at the dog show today? Um, well, we've been a sponsor for Vins for the last five years, and we do the pre-show for them. And then we also have a table, and we donate stuff to the raffle, and we just try to support them as much as possible. It's a great organization. Nice. Um, and how long has this um, benefit been going on, this project? Um, Vins has been going on for this is their 10th anniversary, um, and uh, we've been involved for the last five years. This is my first time here, and I gotta say, this is really nice. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You get to see a lot of great dogs, get to see the community come together, support a great organization, and then it's also a chance for vendors like myself to share what we do for the community and gives them an opportunity for everybody to come together. Uh, would there be any uh, suggestions or advice that you would have for anybody who wants to enter their dog into a dog show? Or? Just think about what, for your dog's personality, what they're comfortable with. If they're comfortable with crowds and they enjoy being around people and other dogs, this is a great opportunity to get them out, let them get some socialization and get to show off your dog and share them with the community. All right. Um, is there anything final that you would like to conclude or to add? No, just thank you for the opportunity to talk and, you know, thank you. My name is Caitlin Holloway. Nice to meet you, Caitlin. And uh, what are your um, views on today's show? How, how is today's show going? We're having a really great time out here. A lot of fantastic dogs with fun talents. It seems like a great event, pet friendly, obviously. So having a good time. Is this, uh, how many years have you been doing this uh, with the dog show? This is my first year participating um, with the Dake and Humane Society. Uh, any things you'd like to add? Any um, suggestions of people who want to get their dogs into like the show? Like if they for first time people getting their like pets into the show? Yeah, I think the best thing to keep in mind is just um, mm -hmm. to work with your dog throughout the year mm -hmm. and have fun with them mm -hmm. when you're when you're practicing their their trick. Nice. Yeah. 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 Do you have your own dog too? I or? do. Yeah. I have two dogs. Oh wow, cool. Yes. What are the names? Um, Pepper and Chase, and neither of them are talented. Ah. Well, you never know. They, 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 dogs can surprise us. Pets can yeah, really that's surprise true. us. That's true. That's I mean, personally, I have cats, but I have cats. They love dogs, actually. And I guess you don't hear that a lot. Or that sometimes they can get along. Sometimes they don't. But actually, my cats do get along with dogs. They get yeah. along with all kinds of animals. Yeah, that's fun when that happens. I think it's a great event. We're happy to be out here participating. Um, Dick and Humane Society is obviously a nonprofit organization, so we rely heavily on donations and community support. So thanks for having us. Sure, I'm Ned Poland, and this is Brinkley. Brinkley? Nice to meet you, Ned. Good to meet you. Yes. So um, can you give us a little bit of a rundown on today's show, on the dog show? Well, we are delighted to be here. We were invited to be here. Um, to represent Hope Animal Assisted Crisis Response. And our job is uh, we're part of a national organization of over 200 dog teams that provide comfort to people affected by crises and disasters. Brinkley's been to the Washington Navy Yard after the shootings there. He's been there four times. Uh, we were at the Revere Tornado. 
uh, military kids, where our kids who have lost a parent to go to camp. People who are in crisis will relate to dogs and talk to dogs when they don't want anything to do with other people. And uh, dogs can just do such a great thing. I'm basically his driver, his chauffeur, and my joke is that I'm only that because he lost his driver's license texting. But it's a, it's a wonderful thing to do for uh, people that have dogs that are well-behaved to give back and, and help other people. We're a member of a local uh, animal therapy group, Bright Spot Therapy Dogs, and that's our daily job. We spend Thursdays and Fridays visiting facilities. We make about 200 visits a year. And uh, dogs are great. It's wonderful to be here. There are a lot of great dogs here, and we hope uh, a lot of them are do volunteer work with their dogs. It means so much to people. Our organization is uh, a member of the National uh, Voluntary Organizations Active in Disasters. We're the representatives for the Massachusetts VOAD and uh, two co-eds, community organizations active in disasters. Uh, they will be having a summit sponsored by the uh, Western Mass uh, Homeland Security Council, summit in the end of April, and we're giving a seminar there for about an hour at the end of April. We'll be at Dave's uh, Soto's Pet City Pet Safety Fair, um, I think April the 11th. For people in crisis, a good dog do more than pharmaceuticals and there are no bad side effects. A man's best friend, right? They're fantastic. They're fantastic pals. Yes, they are. Anything final you'd like to add or conclude? Just, uh, we think it's great that you guys are here to publicize these events. It's a tremendous charity for the schools, and a lot of people are having fun. If you're not here this year, come next year.